Hello, fire signs. What's up? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We're going to take a little look today and see uh, if you will reconcile with uh, the person that you're inquiring about, your person of interest, whoever this is you're thinking about or dealing with. All right, so if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading, please look in the description box of this video. Also in the description box are the Amazon links where you can buy every deck featured in this video here, okay? That list will be updated as I remove decks from the collection and add new ones, but everybody's always asking me about what decks I'm using, so the Amazon links are in the description, okay? Anyway, let's hop right into this. Aries, the first thing I want to look at here is what is blocking this connection, okay? What is blocking this connection between you and this person here? That's something pretty important, I think, isn't it? Basically, it's going to be a vibration check, and we're looking at the blockage here, okay? Two more shuffles here. The magician reversed. Ooh, okay. That's one hell of a blockage, okay? So, this is manipulation, okay? Some of you obviously could be dealing with someone who is into black magic. There could be black magic involved. Uh, that's not everybody, obviously. But even if it's not actual black magic, it's still manipulation, okay? Nefarious manipulation. You, you see what I'm saying? Um, I'm using your emotions against you. I'm picking and poking at your emotions, and I'm, I'm basically figuring out how to get whatever I want out of you or whatever reaction I, I want out of you or get you to do what I want you to do by using your emotions against you and manipulating you emotionally, okay? There's also a fear of commitment here and a big lack of faith, okay? Faith is fundamental. Okay, I don't mean to sound like religious. I'm not really a religious dude, uh, but just in manifestation in general, if you don't have the faith, the likelihood that it's going to work out is very, very slim to none. Okay, um, but I do think that there's a fear of a fear of commitment here too. Person you're dealing with here could be a Gemini. Definitely feels an intense connection. Here, okay, very intense. Some of you could be dealing with a twin flame. That's not everybody. Not everybody's dealing with a twin flame, but whether it's twin flame or not. Very intense. I think both of you feel this connection very intensely, okay? person you're dealing with could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They got an attitude problem, okay? They, they have one serious attitude problem. Communication with you is probably slim to none. Maybe this person thinks they're unable to communicate with you, like you all just don't really speak the same language, okay? Um, I do think that they want to come together with you. They just don't have the... They don't really think... That maybe this person's not looking for anything stable, but they really don't think that it would ever be stable between the two of you, that the two of you could never have anything solid, you know? Could be a Taurus. Let's call out the Major Arcana real quick. I have Taurus, Libra, another Taurus card, or Gemini, okay? But I do think that the overall and the underlying energies here are the biggest blockage here, okay? And that is being on defense mode, okay? This is the Nine of Fire, so that feels like you. This do, it doesn't have to be you, but this feels like your energy, Aries. You know, you got your guard up. You're in, you're in big-time defense mode when it comes to this person here, okay? So, you had the Ace of Wands reversed. They have the Ace of Swords reversed. Air and Fire, the Aces, are both reversed. Um, so, it's a big blockage here. That's a big, huge blockage. Well, let's just look at what actions this person is taking. The actions this person is taking... And then we're going to get three advice cards after this. What actions this person is taking? If any, are they going to reach out? Are they going to try to reconcile? What's this person? What actions is this person taking? Universe. Oops. Ooh, the star card. Could be an Aquarius for some of you. Hmm, not quite sure what avenue I want to take with that. Just yet. Let's get three shuffles. One. Two, and three. Oh, boom, nine of swords reversed. Hmm. Page of pentacles reversed. All right. Hmm. It doesn't really look like they're taking too, too much action with the page of pentacles reversed, seven of swords, I'm sorry, seven of pentacles reversed. 
Queen of Swords. Again, I think they would like to reconcile, but they're up in their head. Okay, they're not 100% sure exactly how to approach you, what to say to you, whether or not they should. They're getting over this for the most part, uh, but I really feel like they're, they're trying to avoid something toxic here. It could be a Capricorn for some of you as well. They're trying to avoid something very unhealthy and toxic. They're pretty detached from this, okay? They do feel an incredibly intense connection, but I don't think it's so intense that they can't think straight about this. I think that at least when it comes to the, the true nature of the situation, uh, they're pretty non-biased. They're, they're very aware, and they're, they're thinking very factually about this here, okay? But it's getting to the point where I think they're trying to just release and let go of this. Could be a Virgo for some of you. Um, but I really don't see them taking a whole, whole, whole lot of action, really. Not really. They're not 100% sure what to say to you or how to approach you. Hmm. Or even if they should. With that devil reverse right there, that kind of indicates to me probably more along the lines of I'm not sure if this would, would be a good move or a bad move. If this would be toxic or if we could come together and hit it off, you know. They're really up in their head. So let's get three advice cards on what you should do. Okay, King of Wands reversed. Two more. And I want these to jump out. I want these to jump out. Okay, the world reversed. Uh, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so, uh, okay, I guess you have your guard up. That's fine. Maybe you should keep your guard up. Okay, because this person could just be playing the same games they was playing in the past, you know. There is an incomplete cycle, though, that is going to have to be completed at some point. But right now, I think you all are still uh, passing really, really intense energy back and forth. Uh, so right now might not be the right time to attempt a reconciliation, okay. I think it's going to have to happen at some point, definitely, with that world in the reverse. But maybe not right now, because the energy between the two of you is still in, in too intense, too intense. You're going to have to wait until the dust settles and you don't really feel a... It's not that you're not going to feel a connection, but you feel the dust settling and, and you know, does that make any sense? You might have to wait this out a little bit. You might have to wait it out. But I think, yes, reconciliation uh, is pretty much inevitable at some point in time in the future. Okay? All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. We're going to look at what's blocking this connection between you and this person. What's blocking the connection? Oop, oop, what was that? High Priestess. Okay. Two more shuffles here. Cups reversed, emotional codependence. Okay, this is a very, very intense connection, but there's too many secrets being kept. Okay, high priestess, seven of swords. Okay, yeah, there's too many secrets being kept. Too many secrets. There's too much dishonesty and too much sneaky shit happening here. Okay, uh, you can't trust this person to be 100% open and honest with you, and maybe they, maybe you all can't trust each other. Maybe there's just too much dishonesty here and emotional codependence. Okay. Uh, again, the most common energy that comes through my line of work. And basically what this energy represents is I have an empty void in my heart. I feel lonely and incomplete. And I need a lover or a love relationship to fill that empty void. I, I am dependent on a relationship to make me feel fulfilled. Okay? Which does not work. Uh, the only thing a person is capable of doing who enters your life is matching the frequency that you're on. Not fixing it. Okay, and as soon as they match that frequency, what unfolds between the two of you is going to complement that frequency. So if I come together with you and I'm on the frequency of being lonely and empty, you're, the only thing you can do is match that frequency. And then what happens between the two of us from that point will complement the frequency of being empty and alone. That's the way it really works. That is the leading cause of all relationship failure today. And this card comes through for 98% of my clients too. Um, but that's a big blockage. That's a huge blockage. But the biggest thing here, I think you're dealing with a game player. I think you're dealing with somebody that just does not know how to take this shit serious. King and Queen of Wands, both reversed. Could be another fire sign for some of you. Okay? But you all just cannot 
be 100% real, open, raw, and honest with each other. Period. Period. Okay? So, it inevitably pops off in conflict. Okay? Could be another Sagittarius for some of you. I have Sagittarius and Gemini here. Okay? So, the person that you're dealing with, since they can't take it serious, and they can't be, like, basically approach this like a grown adult, you know, and be open and honest. And, and I'm not saying it's them that's the liar or just you, but since you all can't seem to be mutually open and honest with each other, it's just a waste of time. Big waste of time. All right. Let's see what actions this person is taking, if any. What actions are they taking? That deck said no. What actions is this person taking? This is a pretty good deck here. For those of you uh, who are interested in looking at the Amazon links and looking at these decks here, this one's a pretty good one, the Golden Universal Tarot. If y'all can't tell, I have a really big thing for Golden Tarot cards. I love them. I love them with, uh, you see how that pinnacle's kind of shiny and blingy? See, I love golden tarot cards. I don't know what it is about golden shiny cards that I love so much. <laughs> I just love it. Anyway. Let's get three shuffles here. See what actions this person's taking. One, two, and three. Three cups. Okay, the star reversed could be an Aquarius for some of you. Nine of swords reversed. Okay. All right. So, hmm. I think they are. Hang on. Hang on. I got to see what that four of wands is all about right there. Ace of pentacles. I do think that uh, they are going to come forward. I do think they are slowly making their way towards you. They are still in love with you. They have their guard up. But I think there's somebody else's energy in the mix here. Okay, so I do think, again, they're coming forward very slowly. Maybe, and, and this is just an example, but like maybe they hit like on your Instagram selfie every now and then. You'll see a little heart pop up, or maybe uh, they'll reply to one of your comments from time to time. It's very slow. They're very slowly working their way back, you know, uh, but I do think that they are dragging somebody else's energy in the mix here, okay? Oh, yeah. So you might want to be careful. You might want to be careful because I do think there's a third party in the mix. Mm-hmm. Yep. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they're moving very, very slow towards you, but um, there's somebody else's energy in the mix here. So I would be very wary of that. Let's get three advice cards here. Three advice cards for Sagittarius. Okay, the four cups reversed. Whoa. Ten of pentacles reversed. Oh, and how about this one that fell on the floor here? And the ace of wands reversed. Okay. So, hmm, that's, that's some weird advice. I'm going to have to get more than that. Queen of pentacles reversed. If I was you, I don't think I would dump all my eggs in this basket. Okay. Five of cups. Okay. So I had to get six advice cards because this is very, very, I think the best, the best approach here would be to release yourself from this vibrationally. And if that requires a conversation to be had between you and this person, that's fine. But if you try to dump too much energy and effort into this and get your expectations, you know, set your hopes really high, you'll end up disappointed. Okay. You'll end up disappointed. If you are capable of keeping this person at arm's distance right now, then I do think that a slow reconciliation could probably happen. You know, it would be very slow over time. But for right now, if I were you, maybe if you communicate with this person, just let it be known. I apologize for what I did wrong, and I forgive you for what you did wrong. I just want to let it be known that there is no bad blood here, that we're cool. You know, just kind of try to leave it at that. 
Because, again, I think they're dragging somebody else's energy in the mix. I don't think it would be just you. Like, if they tried to come back around and you tried to get back in with this person, like, hey, you know, let's do this again, and you, you start getting too close, you'd find out that there's at least one other person's energy in the mix there, and they'd be juggling you and somebody else. So you'd end up disappointed, you know? This person's playing too many games, dude. Too many games. All right, last but not least, Leo. Leo. Ooh, that jumped out quick. We're looking at the blockage here between you and this person. Okay, four pinnacles reverse. Let's get four shuffles. One, two, two more. Three of Wands reversed, Hangman. King of Cups reversed. All right, so this is somebody that you don't really feel comfortable opening up to. Not all the way. Could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Okay, so this person, I think what the problem here is that this person puts, puts all their emotions on you as your responsibility. Okay, that's probably, again, Nine of Cups reversed is a huge, huge blockage. And again, the way this manifests, it manifests in many, many, many different ways. I touched on it a minute ago. But essentially, my emotions are your job, your responsibility. Now, the only reason for your existence is to make sure that I feel a certain way. It's your job. If I feel a certain type of way, it's your job to fix it. And it's probably your fault that I feel that way. Now, all my, my everything about my emotional state is your responsibility. And that's, that's the way they're looking at this here, okay? So I don't really feel like you feel comfortable opening up. Not really. Not really. I think you, you've been doing the best that you can to try to look at this from every different perspective and angle possible. But mm, the person you're dealing with does want a reconciliation. I also think that there's a lot of immaturity here, too. There's too many immature high school games being played here. Too many immature high school games. But there's a lot of walking on eggshells energy between the two of you, too. <laughs> okay? And, the, and, and I really feel like, and that's just because it's on the cross watcher's side. So cross watchers, don't get your panties in a bunch. These energies could go both ways. Take it how it resonates. If it resonates, if it doesn't, chuck it in the fuck it bucket, man. It ain't that big a deal. Anyway, what I'm getting here is that I really feel, Leo, like the person that you're dealing with <laughs> makes you feel like you're walking on eggshells. You know? No matter what I say, it's probably going to be the wrong thing. No matter what I do, it's probably not going to be good enough. You know, am I saying the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Am I, you know, that type of energy. So you all don't balance each other out very well at all. And I really feel like you don't even want to take on their drama or take on their issues. You know, this isn't something you really want to work on anyway. You know? Okay. Let's look at what actions this person is taking. What action is this person taking towards Leo universe, if any? Universe, source, spirit? What actions is this person taking towards Leo? Two more shuffles. Two of Wands. Two of Swords. That's no action, dude. All right. Hmm. I kind of feel like they're pouting here. You got that Ten of Cups right there. This person could already be with somebody else. Okay, as far as taking action towards you, I really feel like they still feel your energy big time. But right now, they're at a point in life where they're not really making any forward movement at all. Some of you are dealing with somebody that's already involved with somebody else. Um, but it looks to me like they're up in their head not knowing what to do. This person's a very confused person in general. I don't really think that they're... I think this person's afraid of commitment. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. So when we're afraid of commitment, and you see it happen all the time, I can sit around and say I want commitment. You know, I have this picture in my mind of what I want, Okay just cheesy examples. Let's just say, I want the, the nice house, uh, the white picket fence, the little doggy in the front yard, and the kids running and playing, you know, 
cheesy, I know, but, but that's the picture in my mind, okay? And that's out in the astral realms. So, but whenever it comes time to building the bridge between this reality and that picture, I get nervous and I get scared. I'm scared to commit. Then I start, oh, what if you're not the right person? What if I'm making the wrong decision? What if I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I, I think this person's really scared of commitment, you know? And whenever we're afraid of commitment, a lot of times, not everybody, but some people, can, no matter who they get with, they're, they're waiting for it to feel right, you know? They're waiting for that Ace of Swords moment where it feels right. Oh, okay, now, now I know. And a lot of times that won't really happen because that's, that's something that's much, much deeper than just waiting for the right thing to happen out here, you know? But as far as action, it, it looks to me like four of cups, two of wands, two of swords, doesn't really look like a whole, whole lot of action happening here. Not really. Not really. All right. Three advice cards. It's the best approach you should take here for this situation, if anything. Okay, six of wands reversed. Mm, five of swords reversed. Yeah, this is one of those types of situations that uh, if you keep feeding into it, you're going to keep repeating that cycle, not the swords reversed. Yeah, if you keep feeding into this, if you keep playing the same games, you'll keep winning the same prizes, basically. You know? I really don't even think that this is one of those types of connections that was meant to be reconciled, you know? This feels like one of those connections where the whole plan from the get-go, since before you even incarnated, was to come together and to separate. So if you attempt a reconciliation with this person, this really feels like there's going to be something that comes in between you every time, by default, regardless, okay? So closing out that cycle in your heart. Okay, these are just some tools and tips, like things that I use personally. Closing out that cycle in your heart and trying to figure out a way in which you can use that experience as a learning tool. Okay, this is one thing I say to my personal clients all the time. Do you believe that it's possible that one of these days you could be in the most successful relationship you ever dreamed possible? And you'd be looking back on that connection thankful that it happened because of all the knowledge and wisdom you gain by being in that connection. And if you hadn't have been in that connection, I wouldn't have learned the things that I learned in order to be successful in this relationship. I wouldn't have gained the knowledge and wisdom that it, that it takes for me to be successful in this perfect relationship. You know what I mean? Do you believe that's possible? Whether you believe it's possible or you believe it's impossible, you're right. Whichever one you choose to feed your energy to will manifest. Okay. So it's very important to use this connection as some sort of learning tool, okay? Anyway, though, I feel like those were the messages my fire signs needed to hear, so I'm going to go ahead and end this reading here. I'm very appreciative of every last one of you who tune in, play along, and show love and support here on my channel every day. Thank you all so much, man. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to look in the description box of the video if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading with me. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you sometime between right now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all stay blessed.